Hello everyone. Today we will recapitulate and practice last type of this chapter, arithmetic progression. As earlier we have done all these eight objectives of this chapter. Today we will continue with our ninth objective that is find sum if number of terms are given of an AP. Before proceeding, we will recapitulate what we have done in previous types. Type 1. When we have to find journal term or nth term of an EP, we have three steps. Step 1. Write given values of the terms. Step 2. To find common difference. And step 3. Journal term of an AP that is Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D from where we can find easily our nth term. Second type we have done how to find nth term from the end of an AP. We have done this formula. Nth term from the end of an AP is L minus N minus 1 into D where L stands for last term and stands for number of terms and D stands for common difference. Now today we will continue with a new topic that is sum of N terms of an AP. As already you have done this type we will recall the formula. For this we have sum of N term of an AP is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d where a stands for first term of an ap n stands for number of terms and d stands for common difference now we will recapitulate this formula with practice sum first sum statement is find the sum of first 10 terms of an ap the series is 8, 4, 0, minus 4, minus 8 and so on. As we know, in this case, 8 is our first term, 4 is our second term and 0 is our third term. Similarly, minus 4 is T4 and minus 8 is T5. Step 1 is same. That is, we will write the given terms. Step 2 find the common difference by putting the value of t2 and t1. We will get the value of common difference that is minus 4. Step 3. Now what we are going to find? The sum of first 10 terms. That means S10. So we will apply the formula of sum of n terms which is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. We will put the value of n that is 10. S10 is equal to 10 upon 2 into 2 into 8 plus 10 minus 1 into minus 4 where the value of common difference is minus 4 and value of first term is 8. By solving it what we will get sum of 10 term that is, is equal to minus 100. Now one more type of this sum that is find the sum of first 30th term of an EP whose second term is 2 and seventh term is 22. Now in this statement we don't have any series. We have given with us second term means T. 2 and 7 term means t7. Two terms are with us. Now what we are going to find? Sum of first 30th term. First 30th term means s30. Now t2 is equal to 2, t7 is equal to 22. What is the journal term of an AP? That is Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. We will apply the formula on both sides. We will put the value of N is equal to 2 on left side and N is equal to 7 on right side. By solving we will get two linear equations with 
two variables now we already done this type of sum we will solve it by elimination method as the both variables are same so we will apply elimination by subtraction now by solving what we will get value of d value of d we will get is equal to 4 as minus 5 will go on that side it will divide then d is equal to 4 by substituting in e equation 1 or in equation 2 we will get the value of a also similarly we will put here and we will get the value of a that is minus 2 now what we are going to find sum of first 30 term that means s is equal to 30 for this what is required value of first term and value of common difference as we have found now we will put here s 30 which is equal to 30 upon 2 2 into minus 2 plus 30 minus 1 into 4 by solving this we will get the value of s 30 which is equal to 1680 that means sum of 30 term is 1680 hope this type is also understood to all of you as this is the last type of this chapter so student you will get a worksheet or practice work worksheet in your snap homework based on this chapter hope you will able to do these sums thank you